Hey there, Storm fans, Brent Cook, and today we're playing Gyruda Combo. If you're looking for a Storm Combo deck, this is not the video. There are no Storm spells in this video, but it is a relatively sweet brew. It's a combo deck. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Stick around. I promise it's going to be entertaining. The idea behind this deck is that we get to use Gyruda as a companion, which has the clause that we are not allowed to play odd mana value spells in our library, so only even spells. Pretty sweet. And you're essentially trying to accelerate into Gyruda, which... You know, it's kind of tough because you have to pay the three mana value to put Gyruda to your hand, and then it's a six mana demon kraken. From there, you mill the top four cards of your library, and you're looking to reveal clone effects. So Phyrexia Metamorph, Phantasmal Image, Spark Double, pretty sweet stuff, or even another Gyruda. And then you have Sakashima of A Thousand Faces and Dex Duplicate, which are a little bit different because they allow you to cheat and copy legendary creatures. Uh, am I reading this correctly? No. Okay. I read that incorrectly. Dex Duplicate is good because it gives it haste without necessarily needing the Dragon Lord Kaligan. So Sakashima ignores the legend rule. Dex Duplicate is good because it gives haste like the Dragon Lord Kaligan. So those two in particular are your best clone effects. Those are the ones that you want to keep around. And in order to create this nine mana combo, we have things like Grim Monolith, Soul Lands, like City of Traders and Ancient Tomb. And then Lion's Eye Diamond. Lion's Eye Diamond is interesting here in this deck because we're playing a brand new card from Phyrexia All Will Be One. I'm talking about the Micahs in the Gardens. So we're able to tap this artifact and just copy Lion's Eye Diamond. So that's six mana on the first turn. Okay. Well, if you happen to open up on a Chrome Mox and a Lotus Petal, Grim Monolith, that gets you to nine. You can play a first turn Gyruda. More commonly, I think that you're going to play a Gardens on turn one, copy Diamond, untap play City of Traitors into Grim Monolith into a turn two Demon Kraken. Chalice of the Void is a zero mana spell, which is even. So we get to play Chalice in our deck. There's no one drop, so there's no real downside. In the sideboard, Mind Break Trap and Leyline for combo decks. Once again, even converted mana value spells. I messed that up, but whatever. Deal with me. Uh, defense Grid for blue decks, and then Ratchet Bomb is a catch-all. This deck is pretty straightforward. I'm not going to say it's the world's easiest deck to play because I'm sure I'll misplay at some point, but it's, you know, relatively simple in what it does. If you have any thoughts, comments, questions, suggestions, whatever, put those down below. I would greatly appreciate that. But for now, we're going to hop on in and play some Legacy Match at the Gathering. I hope you enjoyed this league. Sit back and uh, let me know all my punts. <laughs> I'll see you in the first round. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, early access to videos, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us such as theepicsroom.com shop or submitting a donation deck via the epicsworm.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Welcome to match one. We are revealing our Gyruda. Okay, so we have first turn Chalice of the Void. We have a Gardens. We actually have Gyruda in hand, so we don't even need to get the one out of the sideboard. So we're really just looking for mana. So like a Grim Monolith might be fine. I think we keep this. I'm not entirely sure. Mike is that the Gardens copying Lion's Eye Diamond not as relevant here. They play a first turn Scalding Tarn. I suppose we don't need our sideboard open. They pass. Lotus Petal. So that's interesting because it allows us to play through days on the first turn. They're going to minor misstep my Chromox, huh? Oh no, okay, they're just fetching. We will get rid of the Dex Duplicate, I guess. Lotus Petal and Chalice of the Void for Uno. Like I said, we can now pay for days. And it eats a Force of Will pitching days. Sweet. One has four cards in hand. Brainstorm. Looted Delta. Grabs another Volcanic into Delver. Draw for turn. That was a huge rip. That gives us six mana next turn for Gyruda. Can't currently play through a daze though, so we would like to draw an extra mana if possible. 
Delver does not flip, and they go up to four cards in hand. Channeler floating one into another Delver. So they have two cards. We're taking one down to 19. Draw. I'm on a mana here. Oh, what a perfect hit. So we're going to name Kraken because I feel like it's a little cooler than Demon. Tap for blue. Blue. Tap this Grim Monolith. Tap the Gardens and play our favorite demon. Can't be countered. Your Force of Will will not save you. So we can grab the Phantasmal Image and keep milling, or we can just take the Dragon and attack. I think we should probably just take the Dragon. I don't like the idea of taking the image, fizzling, and then losing our 6-6 to a lightning bolt, but maybe I'm just being a coward. Yeah, I'm just going to take the dragon. Swing. No blocks, so they'll take 12 down to 5 life. Delver triggers. Unholy heat. Well, uh, that's pretty good. Oh no. The unholy heat targeting... The Dragon Lord Culligan. Okay. Interesting. They put the card back on top of their deck with the Surveil Trigger. And now they're attacking with the Channeler. We'll fall to 16 life. And they're leaving both Delvers back to trade with our Gyruda. Okay. The City was actually a pretty good draw here. Let's copy the Gyruda. We'll pay two and then... I'm just trying to play around days here. Copy the Gyruda. We want to keep the original at this point. I believe we want the Sakashima. Copy Gyruda. Another Sakashima. Copy Gyruda. We missed there. But I can use the Phantasmal Image to play another. Copy this guy, Ruta. Dragon Lord Kalgan. Hiya! Look at me now. Double Dragon. Easy. Best deck in the format. Just made a fool by Guy Ruta. We want four copies of Defense Grid here. What to take out? I don't really know if I'm being honest. I don't love Image, so I feel like Image is good because it keeps your combo going. But in general, like your creature dying to lightning bolts kind of terrible. Maybe a Chrome Mox because we're boarding really low on imprintables. You know, what? actually, I'm going to board back in an image. Let's do that. Take out a little bit of the explosiveness for, you know, cards that provide us some stability. Reveal our guy Ruto once again. I mean, this is a hand that can theoretically win. I just worry about, like, a Wasteland cripples us. We have so many clones in our hand. I'm actually just going to ship this. This is better. Bottom the Spark Double. Volcanic Island into Channeler. Mishra's Bobble. And a Bobble. Auto Yield. Another Microsynth Gardens. I think we're going to just channel zero here, which seems a little bit wild, but... I don't want them using their other baubles in their deck, and we're not going to have enough time to play multiple chalices. Like, we have to deploy our defense grid and our grim monolith at some point. So if you think about how this game plays out, I think holding the extra chalice actually becomes a little bit uh, irresponsible. They play a scalding tarn, sure. And they're just passing. Okay. Take a draw. Image. Okay, I think we're just going to play the Chalice on one. We have to worry about Daze here, and I think I'd rather Defense Grid and Grim Monolith Resolve than Chalice of the Void. And they just straight up force it, pitching Delver. Okay. I think that tells us something about our hand, where our opponent chose to keep Delver. There's a chance that they're light on blue cards. Volcanic number three, they attack. We go to 18, and they pass. Another Grim Monolith will name Kraken once again. Defense Grid. That resolves. We'll pass the turn. Ponder. They chose to keep the spell on top. 
This person keeps a lot of cards on top, so their hand must be fairly decent. The Channeler is now unleashed. Island number three. Or, I'm sorry, land number four. It's a the first island, whatever. I misspoke. Two men in the main phase for a Merktide Regent. Yep, that's a clock. Gyruda. Unfortunately, we can't get to the proper mana this turn. I just have to pass. Swing in for six, I go to nine. Okay. The Delver Secrets. They have one card in hand. Well, maybe that was a reason for me to not play the Chalice Zero. I wasn't thinking about my own diamonds. I mean, it's not super relevant here, but it could have come up. We'll filter for a blue. Tap for colorless and then demon mana. Or Kraken mana, I'm sorry. Gyruda. Triggers. Take the Dex duplicate. We'll copy Gyruda. Guess we'll keep the one with Dethrone in haste. Spark double. Copy. Sakashima. Copy. I guess uh, maybe I'm wrong here. I thought Dex Duplicate ignored the legend rule, but I or did, but then I read it and it didn't seem to. So maybe there's something I'm not understanding about Dex Duplicate. And we missed there. Uh that said we do have lethal here. We just attack. There's clearly something I'm not understanding about um, Dethrone or something, because I thought that Dex Duplicate didn't get around the legend rule. Oh, okay, I see what happened. All right, I see. Uh, Spark Double. Wait, hold on. Let me actually read this. Nope, no clue. I don't know. I don't know how this deck works. We won. That's how easy this deck is, where I have no clue what this deck actually does, and we're still winning matches. Uh, I'm dumbfounded here. Well, Sagashima working makes sense, but why did Spark Double work? And it isn't legendary. Okay, so Spark Double says, and it isn't legendary. So Spark Double might have been the one that I was looking for in the deck tech that I didn't bother to read all the way. All right, so Spark Double works. I got it now. Thanks for bearing with me. I am terrible at magic, but hey, even being this bad at magic, I'm still undefeated currently. Let's go into match number two. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Now this is pod racing. We will keep, we have a potential turn to uncounterable Kraken. That is what I'm here for. Point it with a mulligan to five. Now to four. We're just being oopsed. What's happening here? Okay, they're on four cards. Lines of Diamond. Mox Opal, so they're a Storm deck. Cards Echo of Aeons, but I liked my hand. I mean, this hand's pretty good, too. Out of War was an interesting one. Lotus Petal. Island. So maybe this is like a Karn Echo style deck. Grim Monolith, sure. Grim Monolith. And they're passing with three cards. We'll take a draw. Another Mycosynth. So here I believe we want to play our Monolith and our Lines Eye Diamond. We want to leave Gyruda in the companion zone because our opponent's an echo deck. We don't want to put it in our hand, have them echo and lose the ability to have a Gyruda. They play another Mox Opal. They have three cards in hand. Hull Breacher. Okay. Another Opal. So this is a current Echoes deck. Take a draw. Throw Mox. We'll imprint the Sakashima. Let's play Cavern. All right, Cavern's in play. Once again, we will name Kraken. Also the name of a rum I like. Just throwing that out there. Play three blue with the diamond. Tap the Grim Monolith. Put the Garuda to hand. Tap this Kraken for blue mana. Garuda. 
trigger. They have the Atawara? No! Come on! Their last card. Oh, jeez. We'll get back Frexy Metamorph and we'll copy Hull Breacher. Pass the turn. They drew Lion's Eye Diamond. Cool. Wow, what a game. Spark Double. I'm just going to untap the mono. I know that I can untap this at instant speed. I'm just lazy. And then we'll pass the turn. They untap Grim Monolith. That's fine. There's a Saga. Okay. Draw. A diamond. Take some more damage. Gyruda once again. I'm not even sure what creature we milled here, but copy Gyruda. So if we don't take the dragon here, the dragon's probably good enough. Let's just take the dragon. Swing. Pass the turn. Oh, they're a displacer kitten deck. I should be looking at what we're milling. Saga goes to two so they can make a 4-4 four, four blocker. 5-5 five, five blocker. Okay. Play the city. I believe that they're just dead if I copy the Dragon Lord Kalgan. Spark double. Haven't dropped a game yet. Take that, you trash Karn Echo deck. Playline of the Void. I think we might want Mind Break. 68 cards. We could probably board out one Dragon Lord. Board out some copies of Chrome Mox. Image. 62 cards. It's a lot. I'm just going to board out four Chrome Mox, I guess. Let's try this. I'm sure there's someone somewhere that is a master of this deck that is saying Bryant is playing this deck so boredly, you never board out Chrome Mox. That's fine. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing. So bear with me. We'll mulligan this. This hand just doesn't make enough mana. This is the same hand, but worse. Um, I just don't know. I think we're supposed to ship this. This hand doesn't interact. We'll go to four. This is the best hand we've seen. Keep bottom art, clone creatures, ley line. There's a saga. Haywire might. Okay, so they have the answer to our ley line. Take a draw step. Mind Break Trap. We'll name Kraken again. Play out the Lotus Petal and we'll pass the turn. Grim Monolith just became our best draw. Seat in the Lotus Petal. Okay. Swing. We go to 19. Narset. Okay. Shadow Spear. Dragon Lord, not great. We can put the demon to our hand, and if we draw any soul land, or I guess it's really soul land. Like Grim Monolith is fine, but it doesn't allow us the Garuda next turn. There's a saga happens. Imagine they get an opal here to blow up the ley line. They did not. Okay, maybe you already have a colored mana source. Or you're just banking on Narset finding one. Days and doing. That's scary. Okay, Mox Opal Storm 1. That's a bummer. I cannot Mind Break Trap this. That is only the second spell. Yep. Oh, I was really hoping to draw Gyruda. Grim Monolith. Displacer Kitten. Yep. So they can make infinite mana now. Turn the Great, great Creator. We will Mind Break Trap this. Hit the F6 key. So you have infinite mana. What else can you do? They have an echo that they can play here, but they'd have to play. Oh, they don't have a green to blow up the ley line with Haywire Might. I see. So they'll attack for one, and we need to draw one of our four Gyrudas off the top. Draw. All right, I'm good going to the next game. They're going to blow up our ley line and twist next turn. We've already seen their hand. We didn't get there. Okay, let's resubmit. On the play, Gyruda. This is like a turn three, maybe. I'm going to keep it. it this hand isn't weak to Karn the Great Creator, which I think is pretty important. I was really hoping to open up on a Chalice for zero plus Leyline, 
because I don't know if this deck can actually beat a Chalice for zero, but this hand is fine. We'll play the Cavern, Team Kraken, pass the turn. <coughs> Excuse me. Shadow Spear, Mox Opal, Draw Step, another Ley Line. Put the Demon to our hand, pass the turn. So Chromox, I guess we brought out Chromox. So Lotus Petal is a spell we want here. Where Monolith is still fine. And they're holding open Ottawara. Monolith. Actually, um, we can't get rid of here. We'll just play the Gardens and pass. I thought that Grim Monolith did it, but I was wrong. There's a Saga. Yeah, they're just strong holding open the Ottawara, which is probably okay. We'll filter for a blue. Filter for a blue using the colorless we already have floating. Tap this for a Kraken mana. I guess I can play this and save two life. Let's do that. Play the Gyruda. It still gets a trigger even if they have the Ottawara. Surprise, surprise, here it is. Didn't see that coming. And then we mill. Let's take a Phyrexian Metamorph. We'll copy... Hmm. Copy the seat. Pass the turn. They have three cards in hand now. So they can make a construct with Urza Saga and equip it with Shadow Spear this turn if they so choose. They play a copy of Microsynth Gardens. Six mana. Hard cast Echo. Yeah. We did not have a guy root in our new hand. Unfortunate. Or any prison pieces, like no Chalice of the Void, nothing. We'll go to our turn. Draw. Jeez Louise. Play a copy of Gardens. City will die. Untap the Grim Monolith. Play out a copy of Lion's Eye Diamond. We'll pass the turn. They chose not to make a construct. They grab a diamond. Three mana. I think they're realizing that no, they have enough. If they want to hard cast an echo, they can. They play another saga. Okay. Turn the great creator. We will attempt to counterspell this. Hard cast my break trap. Turn has been countered. Narset. Not a big fan of that one. Next turn, we can play out a bunch of clones from our hand to make sure that we get something on the board. They have five in hand. Boo! Take some damage here. Play a Sakashima. I could have played this differently. I shouldn't have tapped the Ancient Tomb. I just took two damage for no reason. We'll pass. Our opponent goes to 12. Another copy of Karn. Brutal. I mean, it doesn't matter that much. They have the Saga hanging back to defend their Planeswalkers as well. They play a land. They copy Lion's Eye Diamond. Oh, so they can go get um, I guess them Flattis here. And then we're locked out of the game. Yep. There it is. And they can make an Urza Saga construct to protect their Karn. They find Days Undoing. Not that that matters here. I mean, we have to make the one play we can make, which is attack Karn the Great Creator. They wisely make a construct, and that's going to be the match. All right, so I'll concede. No need to keep playing this out. Kind of a bummer. I feel like this one got away from us. Like, we were definitely in this, but things just didn't go our way. So we are now one and one. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Match number three, we're on the draw against Malamujo. 
Magic Online Legend, plays a lot of Delver, but also has range, plays Death and Taxes, things like that. We have a hand that is capable of a very quick Garuda, but we do need another blue source. I think we keep this anyway. Steam vent, so on the Delver side today. There's a channeler. We'll take a draw step. Lion's Eye Diamond was very good. Play out the Chrome Mox. Force of Will pitching Expressive Iteration. I like it. The aggressiveness. We'll take two damage down 18 and Chalice of the Void for one. Days, okay. We put another card back on top. Okay, so they still have three in hand, one of which is a Steam Vents. We'll play out the Diamond and pass the turn. Steam Vents is back. Delver, they have two in hand. Another Lion's Eye Diamond off the top does it. I think another Grim Monolith would. Well, I guess we get to find out. So this is four, five, six, nine. We lose to a daze if we go all in right now. I think we're supposed to be a little more disciplined and not throw away our entire game for a daze. That's the turn. Delver triggers. Flips to a brainstorm. That's scary. Swings for four. We fall to 13. Take a draw. I was really hoping there for a cavern. We'll play out the ancient tomb. City dies. Might as well play another grim monolith here. We're going to hold priority. I, I guess we don't even need to hold priority. We can just discard our hand. Put the Garuda to our hand. And then play it. Garuda. Am I getting main deck blasted? No! Oh, jeez. Brutal. Alright, we're not coming back from this one. I'll go to game two. That was rough. Wow. Alright, let's bring in the defense grids. Get rid of image. Two copies of Chrome Mox. I mean, you, in theory, we could probably board out a Colgan. Let's try this, I suppose. Maybe I was supposed to go for it when Malamujo was tapped out and I shouldn't respect days number two. I don't know. Main deck Pyroblast got me, though, which has been falling out of favor. If you check Goldfish, at one point, most lists were up to three. They're now down to either one or zero with how popular initiative has been in the format. Game two, we've opened up a hand where we have access to Gyruda. It's just that our hand doesn't actually do anything. Like, triple clone is not good. We'll ship this. This is much better. Keep, and we'll get rid of the spark double. Malamujo has decided to keep seven. Turn one defense grid. Force negation. We'll play out the lotus petal. Pass the turn. Wasteland, okay. Five in hand. Are they going to Surgical my Ancient Doom? Unfortunately, we drew another Spark Double. I'm just going to play the Gardens and pass. You could play City Grim Monolith here, but I think our we're kind of strapped on resources, and I'm not sure if that's a play we can afford to make. Ancient Tomb. Play Grim Monolith. That resolved. Okay. Really looking for a Cavern of Souls. I mean, I'd also take another Defense Grid. Ponder does not shuffle. Delver secrets, they have four in hand. Draw. Grim Monolith. Play the Monolith. So you might be saying you have it. We actually don't. We have. No, we do have 10. I could go all in and lose the days. That is something I'm allowed to do here. Instead, I think I'm just going to take a couple damage and put Guy Rooted to hand. Okay, pass. Surgical Extraction. Delver will attack for three. We'll go to 11. It's hard to believe that Malmuja wouldn't have Pyroblast or Forcible by now. Hmm. I think I'm just going to pass the turn. I don't think it's worth it to play into those. It just seems very unlikely that I get to win if we take that path. So with a Delver hit, we'll go to eight life. Does not shuffle off the second ponder either. I mean, I could play this and try to copy the Delver to block. Play Metamorph. 
Pass the turn. Mishra's Bobble. Another Delver. Blast. So this says that they have Force in hand, but they know our top card, and they were comfortable enough playing out a Delver. I don't know if I'm allowed to wait again. We know that they have a Surgical in hand. So I can play Chalice first to try to draw out a Force, but if I do, I can't be a Daze on Gyruda. Force Pitch Daze. I can go all in on Gyruda right now. If I wait, I'm dead to a Delver flip. I don't think there's really a good way to go about this. We'll just play the Gyruda. Daze me. Nope, uh, just a Force. Okay, Pitching Daze. So they decided to play around a Spear Guide or something of the like. We got crushed. No, there's no way of saying it otherwise. So we're one and two. Let's see if we can bounce back in the last couple. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Okay, let's see if we can bounce back in match four, revealing our Gyruda now. This hand is slow, but it does do the thing. I think you're supposed to keep this. So far, my initial impression of this deck has been that the Mycosynth Gardens doesn't really improve the deck all that much. Yes, you can copy Lion's Eye Diamonds for those broken starts, but the starts where you have Gardens are already very good. They're the starts where you have Grim Monolith, Lion's Eye Diamond already. You, one of the things about this deck is you really need your land drops to be soul lands. So the fact that Gardens fights, because you want to use these to copy lines out diamonds, the fact that it fights with your ability to play soul lands, I think is actually kind of damning. And if you're not playing a soul land, you probably want to be playing Cavern of Souls anyway. So how good is that really? Ooh, they're on oops all spells. Awkward. Draw. I mean, I'll take a Gyruda. Guess we just play Cavern. A little bit weird. We're still two turns away. We need to live that long. Oops is a deck that doesn't necessarily need to play one mana spells either. Our opponent thought for a moment and passed the turn. Another land. We'll play the Cavern. We'll name Demon this time. Pass the turn. Please don't kill me. They passed. Yes. Okay, so we'll play City of Traders. Ouch. Blue, black. Gyruda. Basically just a kaiju. No big deal. We'll take a spark double. Unfortunately, we milled the first copy of the Dragon Lord. We just can't afford to take the Dragon Lord quite yet. Phantasmal image. Copy. Keep the original. Take the Dex duplicate. Copy Gyruda. Oh, I was supposed to be copying the Spark Double version. That's where I went wrong. Damn. That's on me. I was copying the wrong one. Whoops. So this is the other. This actually might have cost me here. Um, If I don't take the Dragon Lord now, I can't. I guess I could copy enough Gyruda ones. I, I think that's the line. Copy this. Nope. I just don't know how any of this works. Okay. Absolutely no clue. Take the Phantasmal image. Copy this one. Grab a Sakashima. Copy this. Are you kidding? We're short? Oh, no. Swing. Now they can go to blocks. They just decided to die instead. I'm a fan of that. I'm, I like you just dying. All right, so now we get to bring in our eight cyborg spells. Get rid of the phantasmal image. We're not actually trying to be the combo deck. In, we are the control deck in this matchup, so I'm all about boarding out the Chromoxen. Get rid of the Dragon Lord as well. Game two. Reveal the Gyruda. Shells the Void Leyline. Big fan of the Void here. The problem is the rest of the hand is nothing. I'm actually going to Mulligan. 
Mm, I think we should go to five. I believe we're going to four. Our opponent is mulligan to four as well. Is this really better than a three? We'll go to three. Uh, should have kept the seven. Two. You know what? I'll keep. I thought about just conceding, but we'll just try to win. I mean, they're on four cards. Maybe we can pull it off. I don't know if I've ever won on a mulligan to two before. Megadeem the Undercrypt. They go to 17. Sure, the Cabal Therapy me. Not Lion's Eye Diamond. Good guess, though. Grim Monolith, an amazing draw. We'll say Kraken. Pass the turn. Dark Ritual. Spy. They target me. Okay. Uh, we are actually pretty close to winning this. Mulligan to two. Let's go. Any soul land off the top does it. 18 life. Okay, so we're close. Like, Gardens is fine here because even if I miss on a mana next turn, we can use it to copy the diamond. No, Gardens just does it. Never mind. Gardens was the same as the soul land there. Feel free to ignore me. All right, so we will copy the diamond. This is the first time this league that diamond has been relevant. Or that um, the gardens has been relevant, I should say. Okay, we will put the Garuda to hand. Play the Garuda. Trigger. Mulligan to two. We'll take Sakashima. Mulligan to two victory. Yes, we did it. My first ever mold to two victory. Boom. Or at least I think it's my first. Who knows? Uh, LED Echo theoretically does it, but I don't know if I've ever actually won off that. But we've certainly done it here. How awesome. Let's get match number five, finish with a positive record. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as seven tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. The fifth and final match, we're on the draw. This seems like a pretty easy keep to me. Mystic Sanctuary, so we're facing another blue deck. Let's just slam the Chalice. I guess I should play out Petal just in case they are on Delver with Daze. Chalice of the Void for one. Resolves, pass. Very fast Misty activate there. All right, so they're on no clue. No clue what they're on. Feel free to ignore me. From Mox, let's imprint the Spark Double. Or maybe it's the Kalgan, and then I can copy the Spell Dancer. I don't even know how good that is, though. I could also just try to slam the Garuda this turn. Play out Lions at Diamond. Let's see if it resolves. It does. I think I'm going to go for it. Let's put Garuda to hand. This is playing directly into Daze, I'm aware. But I'm not sure if their deck is actually playing Daze, and I'm not sure if it's going to get better by letting them... You spell dancer over and over. Ah. Oh. Okay. That's a bummer. I'll give it a draw step or two before deciding to go to the next game. They cast sorts to plowshares just to trigger the chalice of the void to get that oil counter for the spell dancer. Brainstorm gets countered here. And then the copy happens, which does get underneath the chalice. Draw for turn. Metamorph. I'm like going to the next game. That was not very fortunate for us. Bring in the defense grids. Same board plan as previously. Submit. I think that this deck just might want main deck defense grid. Legacy is so blue, and I think you're just a dog for not having main deck defense grid. I get that we're like the turbo got rooted deck, but. Your deck is just so fragile to anything playing islands. And I mean, Defense Grid does stop Solitude and stuff like that, so it's not dead against initiative. But it might just be better than Chalice of the Void 2. At least in game one situation. Like, Chalice has not seemed that impressive to me. Alright, let's try it again. Sure. 
Lion's Eye Diamond. They force it. Okay. Play Gardens Pass. Tundra. And a Ponder. They did not shuffle. I think I just have to play the Cavern here. We'll name Kraken again. Attempt a Chalice of the Void for one. That resolved. Okay. They might have something like Prismatic Ending, though. They play a Scalding Turn and just pass. The Lotus Petal. We're going to copy the uh, Lotus Petal here with the Metamorph. If they have a Force of Will, this is the card to use it on. Mystical Dispute. Can I pay for that? Sure. Okay. They grab another copy of Tundra. Wasteland here is very brutal. That hurt a lot. We can play Chrome Mox. That still leaves me a Mana Short for Gyruda. Get, whoop. Don't know what happened there. Undo. Let's put this Gyruda to hand. Another Wasteland. Why are you like this? They have four cards. Am I even supposed to play the city? I think we're supposed to hold it. Because if I draw another land, I can't back to back Gyruda. They draw land three. That doesn't help us, we'll pass. They draw another land. Why do you have Hushbringer? Why are you like this? Oh, geez. Okay, so we're just trying to beat them down with a 6 6 demon. That's the game plan now. Another Gardens. Pass the turn. We'll take one going to 17. They have four in hand. Three in hand. So now they have enough to hardcast Force of Will. Okay, so the way that we're currently doing this is I can't cast another demon next turn. Garuda. Hardcast days. Yep. Surprise, surprise. We fall to 16. The Dragon Lord. One thing we can do here is play Dax Duplicate. Mystical Dispute. Weird deck. Land number six, so that can get Mystic Sanctuary. They have two in hand. Defense Grid. We'll pass. Defense Grid, very good when your opponent has six lands. I could copy the grid here. I think I'm just going to take a draw step instead. I'll pass. We follow the 13. Another Hushbringer. All right, so we will copy the defense grid. Draw for turn, it's a diamond. Does not help us here. We're, and we're seeing the awkwardness of gardens because I can't make enough blue mana. We have six mana, but this filters some a blue mana short. Play the diamond. We just have to pass. Ouch. Okay. Lotus petal. So the problem is that they have six mana. They can use a force here. I think I'm going to pass and copy defense grid again. Stony silence. Sure, I'm gonna just concede. Sometimes your opponent's decks just want to beat you. Um, my overall thoughts: Chalice of the Void, not that great. I really do think it should just be main deck copies of Defense Grid. Like Chalice might be a better sideboard card. I mean, Defense Grid stops Solitude, sorts to Plowshares, Force of Will. Like Chalice of the Void, just it didn't feel good in this deck. So I'd like to see these swapped. Uh, everything else I thought was okay. I think the Gardens is a little bit overrated. Um, I felt choked on colors with it a lot. It only came up once the interaction with Lion's Eye Diamond. That's my two cents. I'm aware that I did not play this league perfectly. Sometimes, uh, you play decks that you've only played once before in your life. I don't know. Uh, but thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Have a great day and keep storming. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.